it rained for the first time in quite some time. Not much last night. So it was wet this morning. I was out here <clears throat> early. So this truck's a little muddy, but uh, I put the wrong battery in and it only lasted for a minute or so. So my recording wasn't worth posting. So now we're um, getting another run in here. So this is the HSP Brontosaurus. It's pro. It's also the top. The difference between the top and the pro is the pro's brushless. They're both brushless, but the top's got a bigger ESC, and um, it's got CVDs and um, all metal running gear. I think the pro does too. The pro might not have CVDs. I think the new ones do, because it's also the Brontosaurus. I mean, also the Volcano. So, um, yeah, this one's a little, little step up from the Pro. This one handles 3S. I put the wheelie bar on. Um, they say the, the Pro is only good for 2S, but this top is good for 3S because it's got the, the 10 BL60 Hobby Wing. Um, so, it's good to go, 3S. But, um, this was a, a sale. There was a seller, I think they're called Monoprice. They're on eBay and Amazon. And they had the, this Brontosaurus. They had another one. It was um, like the Grompus or the Helion Conquest. Uh, the exact same thing, the monster truck version. And um, then they had the, the crawlers, um, like the HSP crawler or the Red Cat crawler. The, um, I can't remember that. It's like the, would it be like the Gen 10 or the, the 10? I don't, I don't remember. I'm not a crawler guy. I sold it. I bought one. I sold it. Anyway, um, these were $120 shipped. And it's the Top Pro Edition brushless. And they're normally $275, $280 for the Pro Edition Volcano. Anyway, let's see how it runs. I haven't it in a while. Last time I did drive it, I crashed straight into some bricks. Full speed into some bricks. Um, on 3S. <laughs> but everything was fine because, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's shock absorbers actually on the bumpers. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, I'll do a video about that later. So it saved me. I had got off course, slid off onto some concrete, driving at a different location. And boom, right into bricks. I thought for sure something was going to be broken, but it wasn't. The only thing that happened really was the nose of the body bent backward and underneath the bumper. So it left a mark where it folded under, but that's about it. Just sitting there watching it. But anyway, I'm curious to see the speeds on this. I know it's a lot lighter. I know it's a lot lighter than the Arma BLX. And I know it's faster than the, the Volcano Pro because that one comes with the 50 amp ESC. This one comes with the 60 amp ESC. And CVDs, full metal running gear, spur dip, everything. I think Red Cat, when they redesigned it, they upped it to CVDs and a metal spur and all that kind of stuff with like their last model. But I think they're uh, 
it's going to be discontinued. Not, don't quote me on that, but they did. I don't want to get stuck in that ivy. They did, uh, you know, bring out that du Ducono, and I'm pretty sure that's, that's brought out to replace this. But yeah, I live in the ghetto. This whole city's ghetto. Oh, I'm stuck because it's. I must be stuck because it's. Um, oh yeah, it's got me. It was cogging. Oh yeah, I'm hooked up in there. Hi right, guys, hold on. All right, I'm unstuck. Anyway, so there's the shocks that I was trying to show you on the bumpers. It's got shocks. It's got two shocks in the front and rear. That's pretty cool. Um, I have a Humoto. It's a. Uh, it's the Viper. Uh, nitro and it's a uh, similar to this chassis but it's all aluminum i've got the it's the upgraded version so it's got aluminum everything aluminum arms aluminum everything it's a uh, matter of fact the only thing that's plastic on that or resin i should say is the shock towers which is weird but the arms the chassis the upper and lower it's nitro though but they sh and the bumpers. That's what I was getting at. They share the same, the same bumpers, exact same bumpers, the ones with the shocks. But I'm curious to see the speed this one's gonna get. You know, top speed, stock. Um, it's got the 3300, 3652, and the 10BL60 on 3S. It's pretty light. I'm, I don't think it's going to run with the, the new Arma BLX, but I'm thinking it's going to be pretty damn close. I would say this thing does about 40, 45. Oh, that lip right there gets me sometimes. How much time I got left? Got a minute left. Let's go see. coming up and keep the nose down that speed run was pretty hard I didn't realize the trim was all off when I was driving around in here until I got on the road but I'm using this uh, transmitter also for my Tamiya, my Tamiya DT-03. So the trim settings are different. You know, I have to remember to adjust the trims when I switch from remote to remote. I never, I've been waiting for a couple of months for my remote for that, for the Tamiya. I ended up ordering a receiver for the, for the GT-2, for the Fly Sky GT, was it GT-3? Yeah, the GT-3. Oh, in the meantime, while I was waiting for my my uh, turbo speed, is it turbo speed or turbo something? It's the same one I got from my other Tamiya build. Still digital. Oh my goodness, that looked bad. Feeling myself. 